Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Makeup Right, where I share all of the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I'm April Lauren and I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. Today I'm not feeling super bright. Um, the bulk of this video is from a few days ago. Yenna and I, we did our 10 miles for time and I'm so excited to share this like non-skill point of measure but more than that I feel like I just we'll talk after the video I also have a little update for my channel so timestamps down below let's ride hello that's Yenna, she has to get down on my level. <laughs> I'm at the shop, but I'm Wow, <laughs> you think a little creep. It's like a little tiny head. Don't, don't, I don't know. Like your head like so tiny when you did that. <laughs> so we are doing 10 miles for time. Yenna's gonna do it, and then I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I can beat my previous time. I don't think I, I don't think I'm, I'm, my legs are not feeling 30 minutes. But your time last time was, you gave your all, so. I did. I gave my all. I feel like my legs were heavier and that's what made me go faster. <laughs> I'm not even holding this straight. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes today. I've been, this is, I think, the one I've been dreading the most. Yeah, this is, this is terrible. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So anyway, Yenna's gonna go, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm nervous. She's gonna rock it. So Yenna just finished her 10 miles for time. Woohoo! Woo! She set the bar high. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how she did it either, but she did. She killed it. Woo! It was that end of the play, like end of the cycling playlist oh. bump. <laughs> just kidding. That was all Yenna. My legs are so heavy. I am about to do mine now. So yeah, I'll see y'all on the bike. <laughs> Real hot girl shit. Get it, get it, get it! You're gonna be fast! 
We're gonna go on to 25 minutes. You can do it. How fast can you go? Whoops. Yeah! Woo! This is my favorite. tomorrow and today's an active rest day <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for pushing me <laughs> I was pushing you for sure I don't if she wouldn't have went first I don't know if I would have done it today I was like maybe we'll do yoga and I'll do my 10 mile tomorrow and she didn't want to do it no let's do it <laughs> she's the best workout buddy ever oh my butt hurts so freaking bad I was a very hyper hype man she was awesome too bad it's mostly copyrighted music so y'all won't get to enjoy but be jealous, cause she is the the hype queen herself. <laughs> I was hyping myself. Up. Yeah, you did amazing. Whew, we did good. Well, go follow Yana on her Instagram. <laughs> One day I'll make another video. <laughs> One day she'll make a YouTube channel. Well, she has a YouTube channel. One day she'll make a another video. Yeah, there's one. Like a trailer, but yeah. yeah. Um, it's good. Good workout. Yeah, well, we killed it. It's easy workouts. Tomorrow's full body, and then we do a hit on Saturday. So easy for the rest of the week. But yeah. woo! A little Ric Flair. If you know, you know. <laughs> All right. Is he coming out? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> He's mean, mean mugging. What's he doing? Is he getting the little hat man out? Oh. I needed his wows. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I might have not had the best language, so I'm kind of glad he wasn't. Is he with an earshot? Because I, I don't think it was controllable. <laughs> it was not controllable language. It just. Oh, mini man is coming out. Oh, he is! Just when we're done. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> right, <we're from> <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Before I dive into my little thing that I'm gonna dive into, I am um, so proud of myself. 27 minutes, 59 seconds. It was 57 seconds. 59, 57. Anyway, I am so proud of myself. I shaved over two minutes. I thought last month in February, I gave more than everything that I had. So much to the point that I spent this entire month fearing my non-scale points of measure. I really thought this was going to be the month and it's going to happen. There's going to be a point where I don't beat everything by a large margin anymore. And it's not this month, so maybe it's next month, I'm not sure. But this month I thought for sure I was not gonna beat my bike. I didn't think I was gonna improve that much on Kettle Hill. I didn't think I was gonna improve that much on my mile. And I have done so good. Um, I also feel like it's a huge victory that I had all of this anxiety for like a few weeks. I had anxiety about doing my my bike, my that point of measure. It's like, it's like when you're really bloated and you know you need to weigh because it's like your weigh-in day. I mean, maybe not everybody has that, but I guess like if you're on Weight Watchers or something like that, I don't know where you go in or you have an appointment with your doctor and you know you're gonna go weigh and it's like for progress and um, you're bloated and so you're like fearing that number. Not like even, it's, it's not that I haven't done anything wrong. It's not like I was fearing a bad choices, like the result, the consequences of bad choices. I just thought, I thought 
thought I wasn't going to be enough. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do it. And I, it feels a lot like when I feel really bloated and I know I'm weighing because it's the time to weigh and I know I'm gonna be hurt by the number, by the result regardless, even though I've been putting in the work and doing, doing things the right way. So anyway, stepping on that, that um, getting on that bike is like stepping on the scale when you feel bloated and you still have a loss. Like that's what getting that time felt like for me. I mean, it felt way better than that, but um, I cannot believe that I blew past my 30 minutes and it did it in two minutes faster. Like that, perplex it perplexes me. I mean, I guess I'm more fit this month than I was last month. <laughs> um, I do credit a lot I feel like there's been so much improvement and I just did the walking a mile a day and I, like I've said in the video, I've walked more than a mile a day. But um, doing that has propelled me forward in, a, in such an unexpected way. I am so much stronger just walking. Um, and I think everything I've done throughout my journey has just worked together and got me to this point, but I'm just really happy. I'm really happy that doing these monotonous tasks, not just 75 hard, but even before that, I mean, and it's not really even monotonous. I kind of enjoy the regularity of it all, but um, has been progressing me forward. Now I say monotonous tasks because I feel like, I feel like right now I'm struggling to share content for a few reasons, but namely that I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm just showing you guys the same thing over and over and over and over again, and it's boring. And so I also feel doing three videos a week, even even though I've done more videos before, I feel like I'm not progressing my skill set. Um, I'm not like learning how to edit better or learning how to film better or learning how to tell my story better and I really want to zero in on improving my skill set improving my ability to do those things and so my answer for that is I am going to change my upload schedule to Sundays and Wednesdays and once we move I may post more or I may start another channel or two or something like that. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I wanted to also read a little excerpt out of this book. It's been an interesting read. This book is, this video is not about 75 hard at all, but I like this little excerpt from the book. Um, he says, in life, it's the boring beep <laughs> you have to do to get where you wanna be. I'm talking about not even the remotely glamorous or exciting regular tasks you have to perform every day to move one step closer to your, per your personal and professional success, closer to achieving all of your goals and dreams. You have to become a master of the monotonous in order to become a ruler of your daily routine, which in turn leads you to literally being able to accomplish anything you set your mind to. It's hard, it's rarely fun, but there are no, is no proven process for producing exceptional success. I use the word exceptional because that's what you'll be if you master the monotonous. You will become an exception to the rule. You'll be an outlier. The rest of the crowd is addicted to ease and excitement. They don't want to accept the fact that their road to achievement and success is often monotonous. They want to think that the experience of pursuing success is like a montage from a movie. You know what a montage is, right? It's a series of short scenes that all have a common theme and basically summarize the plot of a movie. Most of the time when you watch a montage in a movie, there's some badass motivational song playing in the background. Here's an example from an old school movie, Rocky IV. The montage is supposed to show how Rocky trained to fight the bad Russian dude, and it goes like this. Um, Rocky arrives in the cold Russian countryside. Rocky trains in an old farmhouse. Rocky jumps rope faster than anyone alive. Rocky performs amazing feats of strength. Rocky runs up the side of a beeping mountain. Rocky lifts his fist towards the sky and 
lets out a primal yell. The whole time the scenes are playing, there's hard motivational music playing. The whole montage takes about two minutes. It's pretty cool, but it's not reality. Real life is not a montage. Real progress in real life takes a whole lot longer to develop. Real life doesn't zip in rapid succession and unfold in a slow, steady progression that is often painstakingly and painfully dull. And I read that because I like I like the way that I've shared my journey. Um, but I do feel like it could, if I were watching my journey, I would be so bored out of my mind, I feel like. But living it, like I've learned to like love the process of this monotonous, like boring routine that I'm working so hard. And I feel like 75 hard has been so good for me in solidifying the routine. And yeah, it's just, it's hard for me. Routine is, it's definitely been something that I've wanted to, I have a migraine right now. It's that kind of day, full blown like migraine it's in the early stages so i imagine tomorrow morning i'm probably just going to lay in my bed and not move and keep the everything closed no light so <laughs> that's fun that's a fun so when i edit this clip you guys i'm probably not going to edit it you're just going to get it all plopped down <laughs> it's a fun time um but I, I do want to say this. I read that excerpt because I identified so much with the montage. Even like the things that I'm so attracted to in the movies that I've watched, like things that helped me want to even share my journey in the first place. It's always that montage. It's like the intense clips of the journey, but like fast. And real life really is, it's, it is that, it is that. When I get to my goal, like hopefully I'll have so much amazing, awesome footage. I'll be able to put like together like the most epic for me, like montage of like hard work and diligent consistency, like sweating it out and eating healthy and getting to my goal. But the reality is, is that it's like 95% boring and 5% awesome and fun and exciting. Um, and yeah, so all of that together has worked to me wanting to, I mean, now that I feel like I'm talking myself out of going to two videos a week, I also want to further my skill set. So I'm definitely not doing this forever. For the next three months though, we have a move coming up. We have other things I need to work on becoming better at what I'm doing. And then I also need to prepare for moving potentially, not potentially, we're, we're going to be moving and we're gonna move this summer. That's happening. And we do know where, and I will be sharing that with you guys soon. Um, but my goodness, I could just talk forever, I guess just talk forever I do I am feeling better talking I feel better now than I did before I started filming I was not in a good headspace but um so to summarize so proud of myself so proud that I did my 10 miles per time faster and that I did it I'm proud that I did it and I'm grateful for my workout buddy Yenna and I'm grateful for you guys because this form of accountability for me it just, it helps me so much. I feel like I'm gonna get teary. But I just feel very blessed. I feel so blessed to be able to share my journey with you guys and to get so much love and support and encouragement. It helps me push through moments when I probably would have given up before. I think it speaks volumes about how important it is to have support and love in your life. And I'm so anxious about moving and not having Anna so close anymore, but it's gonna be good. It'll work. It'll be good. <laughs> and um, I love you guys. 
I um, look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday for my monthly update. I'm very excited about that video. It's going to be good. And then I will post on Friday as well. Probably a short video. And then starting next Sunday, it'll be Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday. So I love you. I hope that you enjoy my channel living through the monotonous with me and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.